Hello everyone, my name is Fuldan Japit Jones and I'm going to discuss to you all about multiplexer and the demultiplexer. De so by the way, this is subject TE538 for logic circuits. So let's proceed. So what is multiplexer? Uh, multiplexer, sometimes misspelled multiplexor and also known as MOX is defined as combinational circuit that selects one of several data inputs and forwards it to the output. The input to a multiplexer can be analog or digital. Multiplexers are also known as data selectors. A multiplexer is useful to transmitting a large amount of data over the network with a certain amount of time and bandwidth. So, Basically, uh, the multiplexer is a uh, kind of has many inputs but only one output. Let's proceed. So, uh, basically, the basics of multiplexer. So, as you can see in this diagram, there are many inputs. Uh, as you can see, there are DO, DO, D1, D2, and D3, and only one output. And this is also the controller. So let's proceed. So this is the schematic of the koan multiplexer. And this is the koan control switch. So consider only one switch out of uh, many inputs. There are only one switch. So multiplexer that are built from transistor and relays are termed as analog multiplexer, which are used in analog application and multiplexers that are built from logic gate term as digital so uh, the multiplexers that are built from logic are called uh, digital multiplexers which are used in digital application the universe of uh, the inverse of a multiplexer is known as the multiplexer so as we all know the, the in this modern world uh, everything is digital so the multiplexer in this world uh, we are living now is uh, digital. What does a multiplexer do? Uh, in digital system, many times it is necessary to select a single data line from several data input lines and the data from the selected data input line should be available on the output line. The digital circuit which does this task is a multiplexer. So, uh, multiplexer has a great rule. A multiplexer is a digital circuit that selects one of the n data input so meaning n uh, there are many n uh, there are uh, two four eight and so on and the selection of one of the n input is done by the select inputs to select one of the several inputs we need m select line such such that two m equals to n so uh, we need this you need this formula to have a kind of selection. So this is selection. This is R M. So, so depending on the digital code applied, the select inputs one of the n data inputs is selected, transmitted to the signal output. So uh, the uh, point here is. Uh, when you select the n input and that that one you select is will going to transmit and going to output so in in the same way uh, so what you click in input will be the result in the output so hence a multiplexer has a minimum two n data input lines m select line one output line so basically the the m has only two the select line and the output line the block diagram of an n to one multiplexer in equivalent circuit is shown in the figure below so this is the diagram so you can see this is the input here the do d1 d2 and so on this is the data input and take note that in the 
multiplexer there is only one input only one input there is no other than input but only one so and this is the select or what we call m the m has select input and output so this is the equivalent circuit so the equivalent circuit so you can see there are only one hand uh, going to output so when you select the do then the result will be also do select d1 also d1 so that's the multiplexer that's how multiplexer works so uh, how does a multiplexer work the multiplexer works like a multiple input so basically many many input but single output switch the output gets connected to only one of the end data inputs at a given instant of time therefore the multiplexer is many into one so you can see let's go back oh no yeah, pala. Uh, so you can see earlier there are many inputs like d1 d2 d3 and so on but only one put that's uh that code many into one and it works as a digital equivalent of an analog selection switch so multiplexer circuit there are many types of multiplexer oh so there are many types not only one type of multiplexer but many so at least three uh, name them 2 to 1 4 to 1 and 8 to 1 multiplexer this one each one has a different circuit through table boolean expression and working principle so every uh, type of multiplexer has different circuit table truth through table boolean expression so let's proceed so this is the 2 to 1 multiplexer a 2 to 1 multiplexer is uh, is the digital multiplexer circuit this has two data inputs so we have here the do data input and d1 so this is the data input so you can see in the circuit in the left corner right corner rather this is a uh, data input do and d1 uh, one select the s or this is the s one selects the line s and one to the output y to implement a 2 to 1 multiplexer circuit we need two end gates so this 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 is this two uh, stuff here name end so this is the end gates and or gate this is the or gate before output and this is the not gate this is the not gate symbol the block diagram logic symbol and switch switching uh, circuit analogy of 2 to 1 the first figure is shown in the figure below so here in the lower left I write so this is the circuit diagram so as you can see if 2 to 1 there are only two inputs but one output and one select input so let's proceed so as shown do is an applied input to one of the end gate and d1 is applied in applied input to the other end gate so as you can see earlier there are two inputs do and d1 it says here that do is applied in one of the end gate and d1 input is applied uh, in out input to the other end gate select input s is applied to the second end gate and a select input is an uh, inverted input s is applied to the first end gate as a second input the output of the both end gates is applied as inputs to the or gate 2 to 1 multiplexer so this is the uh, definition of that circuit earlier so let's proceed to the 4 to 1 multiplexer 4 to 1 multiplexer diagram a 4 to 1 multiplexer is a digital multiplexer that has 4 data inputs so in the in the 
2 to 1, there are only 2 inputs. But here, into uh, 4 to 1 multiplexer, it has 4 inputs. So, let's proceed. Uh, to implement a uh, 4 to 1 multiplexer circuit, we need 4 end gates. So, earlier, 2 end gates is what we need, is all we need. But now, it requires 4 an OR gate and a 2 NOT gate. So, this is the circuit diagram. This is the end gate for end gate. And this is one OR. As you, as you can see, there are, there are only one uh, output and two uh, NOT gate. So, there are one, two, three, four data inputs and two uh, select input. So, this is the diagram. This is the logic symbol. And this is the switching analogy. So, you can see the, this uh, the same, but only it only added uh, two uh, additional input in the 4 to 1 multiplexer. So, uh, 8 to 1 multiplexer. And 8 to 1 multiplexer, multiplexer is a digital multiplexer that has 8 data inputs. Uh, three select lines and one output to implement an eight multiplexer circuit we need eight and gates so earlier it's two four but now it's already eight and at, at the same time we need also the or gate and the three not gate in the in the two to one there are only one not gate and two uh, in the four to one there are only Two not gate, but in the eight to one multiplexer, it requires uh, three not gate. So this is the circuit diagram. As you can see, this is the select input. This is the data input from D1 to D8, and this is the the not gate. And this is the 8, 2, 4, 6, 8 end gate. And this is the 1 or gate. And also, the same time, 1 output. So, let's proceed to the next one. Uh, the, dim the demultiplexer. The process of getting permission from one input to transmitting the same over one of a mini output is called demultiplexer. Uh, the multiplexer is a conventional circuit, which circuit that receives the information of a single input and transmitting the same information over the two input line. So basically, uh, unlike the the, the multiplexer, uh, the multiplexer has many input but one output. Here in the demultiplexer, it is inverse. We have one input, but there are many outputs. So the multi the multiplexer come from multiple variation. So the same we have a one two two the multiplexer one to four the multiplexer one to sixteen the multiplexer and one to thirty two the multiplexer. So let's proceed to the example of uh, multiplexer. The one example of multiplexer is the communication system. Communication system is a set of system that enable communication like transmission system, relay and tributary station and communication network. The efficiency of communication system can be increased considerably using multiplexer. So the multiplexer has a great role in communication system. Multiplexer allow the process of transmitting different type data such as audio, video at the same time using a single transmission line. So this is the one example of uh, multiplexer. So, uh, let's proceed to the demultiplexer. Uh, one example of a uh, demultiplexer is the ALU or what we call arithmetic logic unit. An ALU circuit, the output of the ALU can be stored in a multiple registered registers or storage unit with the help of the multiplexer. The output of ALU is fed as a data input to the demultiplexer. Each output of the multiplexer is connected to multiple register which can be stored in the registers. So one example of the demultiplexer is the ALU or what we call arithmetic logic circuit. So my report 